Pictures instead of photos. Rob, Rob Lowe was on the list too, I think. Oh, is it all? Uh, there's a whole bunch of things. strange list of. Shatner. Shatner. Oh, yeah. Shatner was very briefly discussed, but we said no. We want Al Waxman. But yeah, and but they only agreed to let us use Tim Curry because uh, when we uh, we weren't going to hire any kind of name person in show three in, in uh, eating pattern, and we eventually uh, got um, Rutger Hauer, which they, they thought Rutger Hauer great. But we said, well, we'll hire Rutger Hauer, and we'll find the extra money if you let us use Tim Curry. Wow. Oh, thank you. It was great. I'm a huge Tim Curry fan. It was fun to have him there, and he was just a wonderful guy. Yeah. I just can't imagine that Joe would be poetry. Yeah, can you imagine? I can't imagine any I mean, I don't know. It's okay to use Lee Majors. There's a place for him that would be really funny. And we're sitting on it. Well, he could have been a Thoden. He could have been a Thoden for sure. Yeah, a little bit of a guy. Yeah, a little bit of beer belly kind of hanging out. But Bostrick was. But Bostrick just is like he Totally wonderful guy, though. Yeah. And you said you're looking at Thoden. Seeing a whole lot of different things. Washington. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> yeah. yeah. And in my hungover stupor, dying, looking at the TV, I'm watching Thun, thinking, this is the hero of the show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my, this is going to be so boring and predictable. Yeah. <laughs> it was really nice to be snookered so well. Yeah, yeah well, that's the thing. You, uh, you know, of course, the sh Showtime didn't want to kill him off. That was, oh, that was the addicting point to me. Yeah. Up to that point, I was really <coughs> contemplating yeah. changing the channel. Zeb yeah. hit punch somebody, I was happy I was there. But <laughs> but that, that really is what set it for me, because the writing was so surprising. And yeah. it did very much, you knew what you were doing. You were going, this way, this way, come on, little girl, we're going this way, this way, that way. <laughs> 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 writing doesn't surprise me, it's, it, yeah. especially on TV. It's completely predictable. It's taking you somewhere, and it's telling you five hours in advance where it's going to lead you, because you're stupid enough never get there if they just yeah. let you there. Yeah. To be taken somewhere completely different right. was And they paint it in such broad strokes that as a member of the target audience, you feel very targeted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, sure. but you, yeah, you've actually hit on, to me, an extremely important point, which is most people don't want to be surprised. But I personally, and I think, mm -hmm. you know, we, the Real type of thing that I want to watch is, uh, you know, if, if I know what's going to happen, uh, right. you know, I don't want to be surprised, if, you know, just to completely go off the topic. The other day I watched uh, The Perfect Storm, you know, and about uh, 20 minutes in, okay, I know what's happening here, <laughs> you know, and I'm uh, hoping for a surprise the whole way, and, you know, yeah. nothing. We all do that very, very well, and you even do the, okay, I know what's going on here. I didn't. Thank you. Yeah. Right, but then you can get caught in the reverse because you're, then you're expecting a certain type of surprise. So you have yeah, to keep. You no, you have done a good job of yeah. not really letting us do that too much. But we all have some good surprises in season four. Yeah. 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 Uh, one thing when you're writing, do you have the actor or actress in mind that you're going to use, or you just pick a, a type? Or um, uh, well, I would say that. Um, uh, from the beginning, we had Brian in mind for Stanley Tweedle because I had worked with Brian before. Mm -hmm. And it's way, way easier to write for someone. And uh, uh, sometimes we do and sometimes we don't, but it's, we much prefer to have the person in mind and to try to figure out, let's have Nigel Bennett play Prince. Yeah, for instance. Mm -hmm. makes it more Like we knew that, so we knew it was Nigel before we wrote it. And we asked him if he would do it, and then we started writing Prince. Because then you can kind of he hear it. You can yeah. hear it, you know, yeah. when you're sort of playing around with it. You hear Nigel's voice. <laughs> yeah, well, it just, it's sort of, but, it's, yeah. but as everybody kind of knows, we were, we thought we were going to use Doreen Jacoby uh, in season two, and then that didn't work out. There was great weeping and wailing from Sweden. I'm kidding. I'll admit it, my boyfriend is, is eminently happy that Lyca is there, and it's Louise Wisherman. Oh. Right, but what happened is in the beginning, the words, and we changed the character a little bit, the words, and we changed the meaning of the character. But some of the lines were really written for Doreen, which we knew would work. And I could still see Doreen saying them. And then once we started getting used to it, since we hadn't cast it, and she has this wonderful Brazilian accent, uh, that uh, then, then the, 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 the like of writing got better. So if we can, we will try and cast the person first. Now, after season, oh, sorry. Well, I was just wondering, like, in series three, you had, you sort of got away from the idea of using, being on the Lex. 
and more based on the planets. Do you think you'd, in Series 4 you'd get more back onto the ship or no. just use it to travel between planets? <coughs> well, actually neither. Um, but um, there'll be more off the left because we feel that this, uh, we get restricted yeah. Yeah. and visually. And, uh, and we'd like to open it up. So we, we open, you know, the, the huge difference between Series 2 and Series 3 which is series three visually is quite series two visually is quite dark. In series three, it's often shot in bright, mm -hmm. you know, burning hot deserts and that sort of thing. And special effects in burning hot deserts, you just couldn't do it a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Now we have um, some cases we thought it was <coughs> quite successful. What what's each of your favorite episodes in particular that you've had? <coughs> Doom. Well, it's a stupid reason, but it's the thing. It's legitimate, I, you know. I, 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 I personally find myself emotionally involved in Brigadier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, I think that it's a, the, the Stanley journey, and the it all just it's a, it's in a way it's inexplicable. Mm -hmm. It's just my favorite episode. It just like looked at that and I thought, well, you know, I'm kind of proud of that episode. Well, that's Brian. Uh, <coughs> I I can't read it. Seven ninety one. <laughs> That's further down the list than I would like. Uh, it's really hard, you know. I mean, if you spend a lot of time, you know, we'll spend, uh, you know, seven or eight days or sometimes more shooting an episode, and before that, you know, reading the script and trying to get involved in what you know, the entire process of you know, the, like the through line of the script is, and and when you finally see it on the screen, you finally see, you know, the the cut version with all the effects and the music, it's uh, it's hard to get away from the first thing that happened. That I can, like, like I'll remember like what my feet smell like that day. You know, that, that episode. So do we. <laughs> so it's it's really hard to uh, define anything. I, I I refuse to like say like one or one episode is, is my favorite. More fun. Episode. Pardon me. More fun than one episode. Some episodes were more interesting, but I can't say it was ever more fun than another. You know, some episodes were tough because of some physical conditions, restrictions, whatever, and you know, but that didn't make it less fun. It just made it like sort of like physically more, more demanding, or, or sometimes more challenging, in, you know, in in, uh, in keeping the character uh, real and, and and alive. Yeah. <laughs> um, I listen. Yeah. I really, I tried yeah, to help those job. girls as much as I could. Great job. Are you doing good solid sense? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> but not with so much flesh. <laughs> not quite as much meat. Uh, uh, Become for, vegetarian. For me, for me, the ones I, I I think I would pick from maybe the first go around, maybe eating pattern. Uh, yeah. You know, and from the from the second season, I echo Brigadoon for me, and kind of on similar <coughs> sorts of reasons. Just I just you know, I get a tear at certain points during that <laughs> episode, and I don't during say I don't know you know patches. Yeah, patches in the sky. You or, get a different kind of tear. Okay. But I I but I'd also I also <laughs> pick a. Uh, Pick maybe uh, maybe from the second season. Um, uh, Seven ninety one actually would be one of mine. And Nook, and um, uh, I kind of like Laugh Track too. Yeah. 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 And End of the Universe, I think, would be a good one. And from the End of the Universe, I think it's a really it's a good episode. It's one of our best closing, you know. So it's an 